Robert F. Kennedy Jr. floated a theory this week suggesting COVID-19 was manufactured to attack certain races and ethnicities and to skip others, including Jewish people. Just what the video. And we need to talk about bioweapons. Well, I know a lot now about bioweapons because I've been doing a book on it for the past two and a half years. And, um, uh, and you know, the, the, what we, the technology that we now have to develop these microbes, we have, we've put hundreds of millions of dollars into uh, ethnically targeted microbes. The Chinese have done the same thing. In fact, COVID-19, there's an argument that it is ethnically targeted. COVID-19 attacks certain races um, disproportionately. The, uh, the, 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 the races that are most immune, immune to COVID-19 are because of the, of the structure of the, of, um, the genetic structure, of, uh, uh, genetic differentials among different races of the um, of the receptors of the ACE2 receptor, um, COVID-19 is targeted to attack uh, Caucasians and uh, and uh, and uh, black people. The people who are most immune are Ashkenazi Jews and uh, and Chinese. And but not, we don't know whether it was deliberately targeted that or not. But there are papers out there that show the you know the. Um, the racial and ethnic differential and of impact to that. We do know that the Chinese are spending hundreds of millions of dollars developing ethnic bioweapons, and we are developing ethnic bioweapons. That's where all those labs in the Ukraine are about. They're collecting Russian DNA, they're collecting Chinese DNA, so that we can target people. The Democrat presidential hopeful was at dinner in NYC Friday when he made those comments which were actually caught on camera and published by the New York Post. In the clip, RFK Jr. starts out by talking about bioweapons and then moves on to the virus. He says there's evidence backing the notion that COVID was designed to be ethnically targeted, adding that there are studies that show it hits certain demographics harder than others. As he explains to the clear discomfort of others around him, he said COVID was allegedly more prone to latch onto and attack Caucasians and black people because of their genetic makeup but then says Jews and Chinese folks are the most immune to it. He hedges things a bit by saying it's unclear if the virus was purposely designed to act this way, but it seems clear he's trying to entertain a conspiracy theory here, and a lot of people have called his remarks anti-Semitic and racist, and yet RFK Jr. is defending himself. RFK Jr. said the New York Post was mistaken, adding, I have never ever suggested that the COVID-19 virus was targeted to spare Jews. I accurately pointed out during an off-record conversation that the U.S. and other governments are developing ethnically targeted by weapons and that a 2021 study of the COVID-19 virus shows that COVID-19 appears to disproportionately affect certain races since the furin cleave docking site is more compatible with blacks and Caucasians and least compatible with ethnicities such as Chinese, Finns, and Jews. RFK Jr. went on to say, in that sense, it serves as a kind of proof of concept for ethnically targeted by weapons. I do not believe and never imply that the ethnic effect was deliberately engineered. He linked to NIH study about genetic susceptibility pertaining to COVID, but unfortunately for him, the damage is already done. Dude is getting dragged over this. But let me know what you think in the comments down below.